Righty ho, so what do we have here for you today? Today we have a K Reg 1992 Kodiak 400. Now, why have we bought this? Honest answer, I don't really know. Um, we thought it would come in handy for parts for that one, which is a mint Kodiak 400. But that's so mint, we ended up buying all brand new parts from the dealer for it because it really did deserve it because it is fantastic. This, on the other hand, is not so fantastic. Uh, it's got very good rear tyres, so that's good. Obviously it's road red, which is quite rare. Um, but have a little walk around of this magnificent piece. We've obviously got a destroyed seat, which is standard. And the, the main problem is corrosion, so that's rusted off. What else have we got? We've got no ignition key with a rear terminal sticking out of it for some reason. We've got basically no brakes. We've got no fuel cap that we just robbed that one off the other codec just while we wash it. Back brake is actually seized, completely seized. It's got a decent speedo which we might rob for the other codec because we couldn't get one of them new. It's got oil in it which is one sign, about the best sign we've come across yet. Um, what else have we got? Front tyres are shot, look how bad they are. We would probably get them to pump up. Um, this has happened. Um, I think we will insert a clip here of this actually happening. What the hell is that? <laughs> well, it appears the hoops come out. <laughs> <laughs> but on the good side, this UJ isn't too bad. Um, which is quite bad, believe it or not. I think we are going to lift this up a, in a bit so you can see just how rusty this thing is. It's probably the worst thing I've ever seen. We only paid, well, we, we, we overpaid it really. We didn't pay hardly anything for it, but then we sent a transporter to get it because it was about 300 miles away. Um, so we'll see what we do with it. Let's say we've only really bought the parts of the other one, but we now don't need hardly any parts, so it'd be a shame to strip it. Um, it's got the high-low range there. All we had to do to get this thing to actually run, which again, there'll be a clip of that somewhere. All we had to do is clean out the fuel tank to get it to run and move. It's got quite a catastrophic oil leak down here. The prop's missing, obviously, because the diff mounts have been torn out, obviously, for some time, which you didn't know about. Um, so, yeah, I think the first thing on the menu is clean it, because just look at how hideous that is. In fact, it's so bad that we're going to have to do part of it by hand to prevent getting soil all over the gravel. So, Right, we'll see you when it's uh, cleaning time. Well, I think we've established it's quite buggered. Um, we've got all the usual sloth like we had placed in the other one, like the ball joints and the bearings and the track rods, etc. Um, but we've got a bit more than the usual as well. If we look under here, we can see quite a lot of rust. I can see a hole in the frame there. See that, Ryan? See a hole in the frame there, I can see a crack in the frame there. See a hole in the frame here. Um, this is obviously completely gone. I don't even know if we can... Come on. I don't even know if we can pull that back. Ooh, look at this one. Look at that. Ooh, that's bad. Now they are good bikes, these Yamahas. Don't get me wrong. But, I'm not 100% certain that it's worth it. This diff mount, look at the back. Well, the diff mount has gone at both ends, obviously, but there's a cross member supposed to sit there, as you can see, and it's just gone. Someone's obviously had a bit of fun trying to weld them up in the past. Whew, I don't know what to do with it. That UJ's gone, look. As you probably expect. I think we need to get down the welders and see what they say. I suspect they'll say, what on earth is this? We'll see. So it's probably going to be quite a short episode for today. Um, but it's an episode nonetheless. Oh, and the exhaust, there's a load of holes in that though. That's completely gone. So, yeah. 
We'll see you in the next one.